Just take comfort like in other people's I'll misery where it's colder in Minnesota. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, how about a little popcorn to warm you up? Oh, right. and, and it over. All right. And it over. Yeah, and Spurs were popping too. All right. We didn't jinx them, did we? It's not well, butter. you know, hey, Rick Lozano had a challenge going with John Paxson because Paxson had the, the free throw shooting right. streak. He must have gotten Paxson thinking. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you more about that in just a minute. We'll have Spurs action. Tom Landry says Danny White was terrible, but. Looks like the Spurs hit bottom on the roller coaster and they're starting to go up the other side again. Third win in a row after that seven game losing streak. They beat Atlanta tonight and they're now 500 for the season at nine and nine. Final score from the arena, 114 to 106 Spurs over Atlanta. Let's take a look at some tape. Hawks with the ball, Dominic Wilkins says, I can do a lot more than dunk, folks. Look at that nice move. Beautiful shot for two. Spurs with the ball now. George Gervin's gonna drive into a crowd, sort of shovels off to Artis Gilmore. Gilmore scores two and gets the foul. Atlanta coach Mike Fratello says, what, come on, no traveling here? What's going on? No, no traveling here either. Gervin driving the baseline from way underneath. The shot's good. Gervin had 23 tonight, and Cotton Fitzsimmons says, I'll drink to that any night. It was Atlanta by one at the half, though. Second half, big argument. The Hawks called for too many men on the floor. Fratello goes after the refs. He goes after the people at the scoring table. Didn't do any good. Fourth quarter, John Paxson misses the foul shot. It's his first miss of the season after 31 in a row. The streak is over. Difference in this game, again, Artis Gilmore, look at this effort underneath, and the shot's good. Artis had 24 points, 14 rebounds. Unbelievable season for Artis Gilmore. Let's go to the scoreboard. 114 to 106, again the final. The Spurs hit the road for the next four games. They'll start Thursday night in Portland. Got some surprises in the NBA tonight. Denver, it's fourth loss, edged out by New York by two tonight. The LA Clippers beat Houston in Houston. That's a big surprise. Detroit over Boston tonight by five points. The Lakers had a heck of a hard time with Cleveland, but they finally came away with the win, 116 to 112. And Chicago over New Jersey tonight, 112 to, uh, excuse me, 113 to 97. A lot of you have been calling and asking if we're going to televise the Judson-Madison game uh, coming up this Saturday afternoon. Fact is, we're probably not going to know that till Thursday. That's 48 hours before the game. If Alamo Stadium is sold out, 26,000 seats, it can be televised. Now, if that happens, we'll make a strong bid to get the rights, but we're not going to know till probably Thursday afternoon. In any case, televised or not, these guys are going to be there. They're the Madison Mavericks, number one ranked team in the city. The only loss of the season came to the team they're going to play on Saturday. Judson, the defending state champion. No question about it, folks. This is going to be one heck of a game. Teams are all good. You know, Justin said that they're for sure. 2.30 Saturday afternoon, Alamo Stadium. Call it the city championship if you like. It is, but technically it's the Region 4 championship, and that's really for all of South Texas. Doug Flutie can add another plaque to the case that will hold the Heisman Trophy. He was named to the AP All-America team today. Along with Flutie in the backfield, running back Kenneth Davis of TCU. What a season he had. Also on the first team, Texas safety Jerry Gray. Gray, a repeater from last year. Uh, he's going to be a high first-round draft pick in the NFL, too. You can depend on that. And when the Cowboys meet the Redskins this Sunday at Texas Stadium, the starting quarterback will be Danny White. However, Danny didn't get the ringingest of endorsements from Tom Landry today. Landry said White had his worst game ever on Sunday against Philly. He threw four interceptions against the Eagles, was 8 of 25 passing. Nonetheless, Landry says, I'll go with the winner. He got a little help from the defense, but what the heck? Yeah. Is All popcorn right. gone? Thanks again. Almost. I'm working on it. Okay. She was munching right. through your whole sports bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a movie or I something. I thought I heard something over there. All what right. else is new, okay. right? Okay. Well, Artis right. was tough tonight. Oh, right? he, huh? he, what a season he's had. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stay healthy, Artis. Up next on Nightcap, an early 